The views expressed by our guests in the following video are solely the opinions of our guests and do not necessarily reflect the views and or opinions of the Ola 7 podcast show. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello guys, my name is DJ Ola7 Owen, we are Kwa Madonna here on your number one podcast show in the land, the Ola7 podcast show, and of course, it is the Genius Kids show, I love this one the most, it has been like, I don't know how many weeks or how many months <laughs> since now but I'm here, I'm back, and um, it is an extraordinary show that showcases kids with special talents, so it be it in sports, academics, arts and crafts, and also, of course, you know, robotics. Yes, robotics. And now, you know, that um, schools have opened and the jacarandas are blooming. You all know what that means, right? It's almost exam time to all writing classes. Today, we've got a very special guest with us here in studio. Her name is um, Darian Mutsa Chingono, who is also into robotics and won a gold medal at the African, uh, Africa Science Baskers Festival in 20, uh, 22. Hi, Darren. How are you? I'm okay. Welcome to the Genius Kids Show. Thank you very much. I Great. Can't wait to start. Yeah. Wow. So let's talk about Darren. Who's Darren? How, how old are you? Just give us a brief, a brief, uh, you know, background. Um, I'm 12 years old. I really like robotics. I'm very enthusiastic with it. Like, mm -hmm. I got a gold medal recently. Wow. Other one from or oh, the 2022 one? No, it's the 2022 one. Great. Yeah. Of course, it's still recent. <laughs> yeah so how many are you in your family you know and what position are you we're two i have me it's just me and my younger sister mm -hmm. yeah, i'm the eldest so i've been like that for a while now oh so how does it feel to be you know the the eldest like you know normally we say the eldest one is like the deputy parent you know in the absence of your father your mother you are the, the deputy parent yes i am but that's let's not blame all of my sisters naughtiness on me because yeah? it's not me <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So how old is she? Oh, she's eight years old. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, which school do you go to? I go to Abbott Preparatory. Mm -hmm. I'm in the robotics club called Kids Pro. Wow. Shout out to them. It's wow. An amazing program. Great. I, I love that. I love that. So what's your favorite subject at school? Favorite subject? Oh, I never really thought of that one. Yeah. I like English. I'm really good at... Mm -hmm. uh, my teachers say I'm really creative. Yeah. Usually get the highest in creative, highest in uh, English tests. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And, um, you know, from my research, I understand that uh, your hobbies are reading books, you know, novels and writing, you know, poetry uh, and all that. So what's the best book, you know, you've read recently? I've read uh, Nancy Drew, number three. Mm -hmm. It's very fun. Yeah. It's like about mysteries mm -hmm. and investigations. Just tell me brief about it. Uh, it's uh, about Nancy Drew. Mm -hmm. She was recently featured on her favorite TV show. Mm hmm. I can see myself doing that already. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. She was there and she was one of the best uh, investigators. Mm -hmm. It was like a mystery show. You yeah. Be solving mysteries. Mm -hmm. It was amazing for her. She yeah. was a bit nervous, just like I am now. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going with the flow, you know. Yeah. But, but don't be nervous. You're okay. You're not on the, po on the spot. I'm fine. You're okay. You're cool. Yeah. Take it easy, man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, you know, who is your favorite author so far and why? I love Rod Dahl. His stories are very amazing. They really help me in my creatives. Uh -huh. Yeah, I love his expressions, his stories. They're very interesting, you know. They mm. really enter the world that he's writing about. Yeah. You know, a lot of kids these days, they don't want you know, to read. And yeah, yeah, you seem to be very different. Really? You know, what are the advantages of just reading you know, novels, books? And every, you know? It increases your vocabulary, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. It increases. It's really, it's really good in... Your people skills. Yeah. You can really talk to somebody nicely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Those expressions to make them laugh. Ha ha ha. Yes. Yes. I do. So reading and like speaking in English are two different things. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. Because uh -huh. someone is good at writing. Then not good when like speaking in English. Then someone is good at speaking in English, but then not good at writing. Oh. Yeah, I understand that one. So you are you balancing it or you are just? I am balancing it. Uh huh. 
if you sometimes here and there with English because yeah. English is a very hard language. Yeah. But I'm trying to balance them. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Any other, you know, language uh, that you are trying to learn? French. I mean, French. French, yeah. Ooh, uh, some, yeah. I thought of the word, then it just <laughs> disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to greet you in French. How do oh, you say? Bonjour. Bonjour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because my, my daughter was doing French. You know, so sometimes she would, she would say, Daddy, bonjour. So, like, what are you saying? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> are you speaking Spanish? Yeah, Spanish <laughs> or something. <laughs> so if you could meet, you know, any character from, from a book, who would it be? And um, what would you ask them? I would meet Harry Potter. I would ask him, how are you adjusting to magic life? When, or your whole entire life you've mm-hmm. been living like a regular human? Yes. Uh, in a really problematic family but uh-huh. you just encountered yeah oh you're a wizard harry <laughs> <laughs> yeah mm-hmm. okay so you know what kind of books uh, do you enjoy the most you know uh, fantasy mystery you know um, adventure or something else i like fantasy mm-hmm. it really makes you understand what's going on in that world yes yeah it's mm-hmm. amazing mm-hmm. fantasy And uh, have you ever read a book that changed the way you think about something? Yes, actually. Which uh, one? Matilda. Mm-hmm. It's under, it makes me understand how uh, how painful it is to grow up with parents who don't even love you, like your birth parents. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. Yeah. I can't even imagine how people are suffering from that. Yeah. And they can't really solve problems like Matilda, moving things with their mind. Yeah, 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 yeah sure. Yeah. Guys, are you also, you know, reading books? Are you into books? Or you, you, it's like, no, no, maybe. Because some, you know, people differ. I'm going to do a TV. I'm going to do my books. I'm going to like, ah, no, maybe just playing games there, you know. But guys, I think you should also try reading books. So how long does it take, I mean, to, to, for you to complete a book? Say, you start reading this book today and how long? Uh, it depends on what book I'm reading. Like, if I'm trying to read a book and try just to finish it, mm-hmm. it would take me, if it's like a hundred or two hundred pages, mm-hmm. maybe a few weeks. A few weeks? Mm-hmm. You're done. Mm-hmm. You throw yeah. it away, then take another one. Yeah, a new book. Wow. <laughs> so if you, if you could live in a book, you know, in a book world, which one would you choose? Uh, it sounds a bit risky, but I would like to <laughs> live in the, <laughs> the Harry Potter world. Uh-huh. Quidditch. <laughs> <laughs> the Harry Potter one. So do you prefer reading, you know, physical books, e-books, or listening to the audio books? I like reading physical books. Mm-hmm. They really, like, I don't know, I just feel in the moment with mm-hmm. it. Because you can just behold it. Because you can't just take your phone everywhere. Like, yeah. in school, you can just be reading in mm-hmm. the corner because you can't bring your phone to yeah. school. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what school you're learning at. Mm-hmm. It allows you to bring phones, but yeah. please tell me which one it is. I want to go there. <laughs> you also want to use your phone at school. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> no, but I, I, don't, I don't think it's a good idea. No. Yeah, because sometimes, you know, people are now busy, you know, saving some other stuff on the internet. Not necessarily to do with the school. Yeah, maybe. I, mm. Yeah, now that I think of it. Cause, exactly. Yeah. Because you're really school. Mm. It's like revolving around tech because exactly. of robotics. Yeah, you see. So, um, what book do you think everyone you know out there should read at least once? At least once? Um, where are your questions coming from? These are amazing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think they should read at least, Matilda, at least once. Because mm-hmm. uh, I don't know how, why, but it just like changed the vibe of my Mm-hmm. of my stories and creatives mm-hmm. just really gave me a lot of expressions yes and a lot of uh the way to express the core of your story mm-hmm. yeah, so okay Matilda. I, i i get it so you know poetry is also um, uh, one of your hobbies mm-hmm. so what inspires you you know to write poetry i used to like love listening to music and the way they rhyme yeah and i thought of if i write poetry with a beat in my head i feel like it would really turn out good And mm. I feel like, yeah, uh, the poet, the poetry I write, mm-hmm. it just gives you that. I like sink into it sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. So, do do you have a favorite poem? You know, or I mean, poet or a poem? I like Edgar Allan Poe mm-hmm. and his poem Alone. It, they're very nice. Mm-hmm. He's very nice. He's a really good writer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, can you share you know a poem you have written that you are um, particularly proud of? Yeah, I have this one poem called. The good old days. I, mm-hmm. I have it. Uh, okay. Me, can I read it to you? Yeah, sure. Please. 
It's a short poem. Yeah. The good old days. Sometimes I wish that I could turn back time. When life was so simple, the best kind. No sadness and stress, no gossip finesse, no families broken and sadness unspoken. Mm. I wish that one moment like then would come back to life again. When secrets were not a thing and fear was just a dream. Now sadness is hard to not show. And no matter how much I try, I can't ignore that I'm at an all-time low. Wow. A round of applause, guys. <laughs> so, tell me about this poem. Maybe someone was not just paying attention to it. At least just, okay, the meaning, whatever, you know. I don't know. I was just like a bit sad. I don't really remember what about. Yeah. But usually when I feel a big wave of emotion, I become so poetic. Yeah. <laughs> writing. Yeah. Now I'm just like, what? Mm-hmm. This is nice. Yes. What was I talking about? Yes. <laughs> so do you prefer you know, writing about certain theme or topics in your poetry? I don't know why, but I just like writing sadness. Mm -hmm. It really likes, like it makes me sink into my poems. I'm mm -hmm. like, hey, sh yeah. yeah, this one, I feel this one. Mm -hmm. I feel it. So have you been that, you know, sad and what caused you uh, that? Maybe sometimes bullies in school. Mm. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Well, why can't you bully them back? I don't want pulling. No, no, I'm, I'm, no, 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 don't, don't take that. Off. I'm just, just pulling your leg. <laughs> it's not allowed to be a bully. No, it's not, it's not, it's not, a, it's not a good thing actually. It's not. Yeah, it's bad. So, how do you feel about? I mean, when you when you are writing a poetry, how do you feel? Uh sometimes I feel so enthusiastic when I start rhyming mm -hmm. and writing and seeing how good it is. I mm -hmm. just continue writing until it's over, and I think it's amazing. And I, I like. Show my friends and like, how do you think? Mm. What do you mm. think yes. about this? And they're like, it's very nice. Wow, very creative. Mm -hmm. So, have you ever, you know, performed your your your, your poetry in front of um, an audience? And how was the experience like? I'm not in front of a big audience, but I was reading it, and I remember my grandmother told me, "You are gonna be the next Edgar Allan Poe." Wow, that's big. That's big. <laughs> so, do you keep a journal or a journal um, or a notebook mm -hmm. for I, your poetry. I have one notebook where I like take all of because I don't have it with me all the time. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I just like zura the things that I put yes. in my notebook into yeah. that book. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's talk about the most challenging part of writing poetry. You know, for you. Mm. How it? How much it is relatable, and the rhymes. Sometimes there's just words that don't go with the theme that don't rhyme with the mm -hmm. other words. Sometimes yeah. They just don't. Mm. No. Yes. Yeah. I see that uh, with uh, a lot of uh, you know artists, musicians, especially the Zimdanzo or maybe hip hop guys, trying to rhyme the words with different meaning all together. You know, sometimes it's not really connecting. Yeah, it's not. Uh, it's, it's, so it's the same thing with the uh, poetry as well, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So playing basketball and swimming are also your hobbies. Yes. Yeah. So what do you enjoy the most about playing basketball? The adrenaline rush it gives you. Like, yes. It's so fun to just play basketball, run around the ball, defend, shoot. It's just amazing. Mm -hmm. I, don't know really, I don't really know how to describe it. It's <laughs> yeah. amazing. <laughs> so do you also play basketball at school? Mm -hmm. For I the school? Yeah, for the school. I played uh, maybe three times against mm -hmm. other schools. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. And how was the performance like your, your, your last mm, game? My last game was a very tight game. Mm -hmm. Well, I think... No, 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 I think I we won. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we won, but it was a very challenging opponent. Mm -hmm. So we just kept on pushing, throwing each other tips. In yes, the of the yeah, game. yeah. Mm -hmm. So you 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 were playing against which team? Yeah, sometimes we played against direct contact, mm -hmm. and they were yeah they were a challenging team yeah. to beat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So who is your favorite uh, basketball player? I can't really choose between LeBron James and Stephen Curry. Uh -huh. They're both really amazing basketball players. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, that's that's good. So, what position do you like to play, and what do you like about it? I like being uh, playing in defense because it's very easy for like giving my heights. Very easy to just like jump and get mm -hmm. the ball mm -hmm. without uh, when in mid passing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you know basketball effect every. Uh, spot in a, a way of maybe connecting people with you know different so are you or have you also made friends uh through basketball mm -hmm. i've 
made an amount of good friends through basketball. Uh huh. They are really nice friends, and we like relate a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I like that. So, what's your favorite basketball drill or exercise? Defensive drills. Uh-huh. I really like them. <laughs> and the defensive drills. Okay, guys, we'll be right back. I'm here talking to Adrian, right? Mm-hmm. Chingono. Oh, we'll Adrian. be right back. Welcome back to the Genius Kids Show. My name is DJ Ola7. I'm here talking to Darian Chingono. She's into robotics. Now we get into, you know, uh, robotics. Uh, you built your first robot in 2021. Take us through the whole process, uh, Darian. Oh, yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, we built a obstacle avoidance robot. Mm-hmm. So usually between on Wednesdays, we'll be like cobbling together our yeah. robots. Mm-hmm. It's so fun. Like just talk, having a conversation between like screwing the bolts and hot gluing, it, it like became like a regular thing. Mm-hmm. We're just like it was just so very fun. Mm-hmm. And then the coding, maybe it was a bit less fun because it, always you have to verify. Yes. Like oh no, mm-hmm. you made a mistake right there. Exactly. Oh no. Hey. Yeah. So, is it like our normal robots or it's ah, what does it look like? It has like a structure of a car, mm-hmm. kind of. Yeah. So what it does is like a Tesla. Mm-hmm. It has sensors at the front. Yeah. And it's not remote controlled. Mm-hmm. So when it moves forward and it feels, it senses that something is in front of it. Yeah. It would turn the other way. Mm-hmm. If you put it in like a box. Yes. It will just keep on spinning uh, over and over until it finds a way oh. out. Mm-hmm. Wow. That's big. So you're doing this at your school? Yeah, at our school. Mm. So how important is team we considering that uh, you guys were you know working as a team on this day, on this project? No, we are doing it individually, but we had the same project, the same mm-hmm. manual. So if you had a difficulty in doing that, you just be like, "Oh, let me help you." Yeah. So looking at the edge, what inspired you, you know, to get into into robotics? How did it all start? It started when I was just in a musical club. Mm-hmm. Then I would see my other friends going to robotics. Mm-hmm. And with the way I love putting together things, I would see that like, hold on, this is like a a bigger version of the Kinder Joy egg. Yes. <laughs> yeah. like, I actually enjoy this. Yeah. It's really fun. Mm-hmm. And it actually educates me, you know? Mm-hmm. You know? So then I started getting more into robotics and I was seeing how I caught on so quickly. So then I, just getting, I started getting more and more into robotics and yes. I fully went into robotics mm-hmm. and I started building my robots, coding yes. my robots. Mm-hmm. I started... Being a normal thing. Yeah. Yeah. So are you are you are you working on something new right now? Yes, we are working on an app mm-hmm. that helps those with mental issues, like if they don't if they don't afford psychiatrists, mm-hmm. therapists, uh, physiologists, they yes. can just go on this app. Mm-hmm. They can listen to serenity songs, listen to podcasts like this one. Yeah. On how therapists would help you with the current situation. Mm-hmm. You know, help them live with yes. their yes. mental issue. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so wow, yes. this is amazing. So who are you working with on this uh, application? I am working with my friend Amy Mugaza. She mm-hmm. was here before. And also yeah. my f- other friend, Inzirashe Macheka, mm-hmm. on this app application. Wow. Guys, this is just amazing. Because I heard that psychiatrists and, you know, psychologists, these guys um, are very expensive. Yeah, you know, expensive. to just go to see uh, therapies, whatever. It's a bit pricey. $90 an hour. You see now. Mm. But, so the application is for free? Yes, it is for free. I can download it, you know, on Google, App Store, whatever. Mm-hmm. Okay. So when are we going to see this one online? I think it'll come maybe in a year or two just to like make the final touches, yes. design and make it uh, fit into mm-hmm. whatever the situation is. Yeah. Okay. So what is your favorite robot that you have built or worked uh, with? The obstacle avoidance one that I That one, the one we mentioned. Yes. You loved that one. It was amazing. Mm-hmm. Like the way I was done with it, mm-hmm. I could bring it home and say, Look, it was like a party trick. Yes. It has come. Yeah. I made a robot. <laughs> I'm a robot. I'm a robot. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you come up with the, you know, uh, these ideas um, for your um, robotics project? Uh, we usually think of the 
main problems in society mm-hmm. and we try to fix them to yeah. make the world a better place mm-hmm. as to go with that grammy's quote yeah to make the world a better place to make the world a better place i'm here talking to darian chingon i'm sure you guys are also inspired and also so is it something that you anyone can do robotics or it's you know you need to be very intelligent or maybe you know uh, be interested in maybe sciences or something like that As long as you put your mind to it you could you can do anything. Mm-hmm. You can be in robotics even if you don't like science. Mm-hmm. You can really put your mind to it and you can find a way to enjoy yeah. robotics because mm-hmm. I feel like it's very enjoyable. Yeah. No worries about the age. No worries. No age limits. Maybe a bit because like there's great threes yeah. coming in mm-hmm. so they'll be getting so enthusiastic in it. Yeah. So usually the pro- main problem we have is that Once they hear about robotics mm-hmm. they think we're straight up going to transform. Exactly, exactly. You know, we have to start small. We mm-hmm. have to do our LED lights. Yeah. I mean get into building stuff mm-hmm. and coding. We have to go step by step. Yeah. So just put your mind to it. Don't just give up when you see that we have to actually learn. Mhm. Mm-hmm. Don't give up. It's really interesting that uh, we see you guys here in Zimbabwe doing this. You know, we always see this from America, you know, UK, Germany, Russia, the first world countries. But now you're doing it here in Zimbabwe. Yes, here in Zimbabwe. You know, it's it's just amazing. It's just amazing. I'm impressed. So, what challenges have you faced while working on robotics and how did you overcome those challenges? The challenges I may I mainly face are those ones where you have to think of something new. Mhm. Because there was there's a time where we had to like take bond papers and write down our ideas. Yeah. Yeah. Or then you'd be like, I want to make this. Mm-hmm. It's already been made. Yeah. Oh no, I have to think of something else now. Yeah. It's like almost everything has been made at this point, so I have to think outside of the box. Mm-hmm. Really outside of the box. Yeah. So do you do, which program do you or I mean which which pro- programming languages uh do you use for your for your robots? We usually use JavaScript. Uh for the beginners they use Scratch because mm-hmm. it's just make small uh actions to get you into the process of yeah. how you can command something to do. Mm-hmm. What you wanted to do. Yeah. So you use Scratch and JavaScript. Yes. So do you have your a favorite type of a robot? Favorite type. For example like humanoid, drone, rover, whatever. I love rovers mm-hmm. cuz it also, it's also in along the lines of my obstacle avoid, avoidance one mm-hmm. cuz you can you can tweak that robot in any ways you can give it a bluetooth module and you can yeah. control it with your phone mm-hmm. you can give it a wifi module yeah. you can give it a camera mm-hmm. so you can see where you're going yeah. you can be like a remote controlled mm. car mm. I, i i like that guys i'm sure murungo spawn is there and na darian eh we kwachi ngono yo e ah i'm i'm out of words right now <laughs> because i'm i'm actually shocked with the way you're explaining this Um now I'm starting to develop some you know interest in robotics. I have that effect on people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you think you know robots will change the world in the next 10 years? I feel like they will really help in uh big tasks. Uh because instead of having to write down every single uh notes mm-hmm. that you have to that you have to You have to literally write it down and make sure you don't lose it and have yeah. a huge binder full of notes mm-hmm. and yes you can't find it. Yeah. In real life you can just use a database. Yeah. Oh and just oh, right. highlights filter mm-hmm. no canceling no having to paint over. Yes, it. yes. Easy just press the delete button. Mm-hmm. Simple. Simple. Yeah. Guys, and I know a lot of kids are watching right now and you know they want to learn from you Darian. So what advice would you give to those you know who are actually watching those who want to start learning about robotics My advice I would give them is never give up always face on your goal uh don't just don't let anyone bring you down because mm-hmm. what you're doing is what you're doing you can find success in it somehow mm-hmm. it's amazing how the amount of things you can do it's amazing mm-hmm. Yeah that's what I would say Are there any uh, robotics competitions or events you know you participate in? I participated in the Africa Science Baskets mm-hmm. uh, in 2022. Uh, it was an amazing experience. At the same time you could present your project and listen to other people's projects mm-hmm. so you can see what you can add into yours. It's 
gave you a huge vision radius. There's yes. no limits. Yes. You can do this. You can mm-hmm. express your ideas. Yes. Uh, make different things. You can make them like for entertainment, for mm-hmm. education. Yes. For just uh, helping in the world. Mm-hmm. It's amazing. I could see how other people are keeping up with all of the things that are happening in this mm-hmm. world. Mm-hmm. And they just try to help it. And the way they're so enthusiastic in their uh their inventions mm-hmm. and creations they just want to do it to help the world to yeah. help people mm-hmm. um to help people uh um to help people yes so what do you enjoy the most about working with um the robots i enjoy how i can just code them to do anything yeah i can ju- i can code them to move right <laughs> say move right move right yeah about 10 move mm-hmm. backwards yes. yes simple simple wow so can you explain how one of your robots works one of my robots um let me explain the fingerprint based attendance system yeah. which is our gold medal winning mm-hmm. uh, uh project which is in the science baskets yeah this project was used because usually teachers will be taking time out of their schedule to mark registers mm-hmm. and to make sure everybody attended yeah but the fingerprint fingerprint based attendance system allows you put just to put your fingerprint on the door mm-hmm. you will be marked present and you'll be let inside the the classroom yeah instead of having to waste time jared present <laughs> shalom absent, absent. <laughs> <laughs> wow that's that's amazing you know you're being not just creative but also innovative You know I I I like that and we you are the future leaders you know you have the future leaders um we want to see uh like the zuckerbergs but you, you know in form of Darren Darian you know from Zimbabwe from Zimbabwe yes we have got on Elon 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 Musk but now there is Darian from Zimbabwe from Zimbabwe yeah to make our country more famous exactly helping people exactly yes. that's the goal i like that so you won a gold medal in africa science baskets festival in 2022 like we mentioned earlier so what was the project you know about and what challenges did you face while it's working uh, on this um, big project this project was amazing to make but uh, the challenges were uh, the um, the thing the amount of things we needed to do mm-hmm. cuz we didn't just buy this off of prime and then just get your get it made specifically how you want it mm-hmm. you to cut card bo- card mm-hmm. boxes yeah uh code use different uh, uh different parts and uh, the coding is like 600 lines yes yes so it took a while to finish that mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. okay no that was yeah most challenging right mm-hmm. <laughs> exactly uh you also hosted um, a bring your child to work at the Switzerland um, you know embassy who came up with the idea you know uh, and how was the event can you just briefly take us through the this thing i actually uh, came up with the event because i saw how amazing the workplace uh, my my mom actually works there it's amazing there's a backyard there's a place you can host uh, mm-hmm. people to sit in and the way they love children and events mm-hmm. so I, i thought of writing a letter and to make this an actual event. And the event went amazing. All of the children were playing. Mm-hmm. Uh we were we were having a few words from the ambassador. Yeah. It was very fun. Mm-hmm. And ever since then employees are coming to me and saying, "Please can you make another event?" Exactly, exactly. Please. Yeah, so are you working on one? Yes, I am working on one. Uh-huh. I, Next I, time you in, you have to invite me, please. Oh, invite yeah, me. Yeah, please just say hola, please. We've got this one. Yeah, we'll come through. You can come. Yeah. <laughs> so with all this talent, you know, how do you balance school, robotics and your hobbies? With all this talent. Yes. Oh my god, I never heard that one before. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Mm. It's like I just feel like I'm just going with the flow. Mm-hmm. Uh I just uh if I if it's a there's like days designated for different things mm-hmm. or there's days I oh yeah, I go to robotics on yeah. Wednesdays and Saturdays mm-hmm. and I do swimming on Sundays. Yeah. So I just be balancing it like that. Mm-hmm. Sometimes things just come up and I just go. Wow. Mm-hmm. That's amazing. So any last words you have for your, you know, for young incredible geniuses like like you? Uh stay strong and 
enhance your creativity in many ways mm-hmm. and uh, don't forget to always team up because that's the the best strengths you can find is when you team up and have good loyal friends by your side mm-hmm. that's how a lot of people a lot of big people you see these days they had a team mm-hmm. so that's what you should do you should stay focused on your goal yeah. and never give up mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. great thank you so much for coming uh Darian yo hope to see you soon again mm-hmm. on this program amazing. yeah amazing being here you enjoying mm-hmm. okay no that's great that was Darian Chingol no she's into i mean robotics what else basketball basketball what else swimming swimming what else poetry i oh, know that's enough <laughs> <laughs> that's enough that's scale. enough for today yeah so i like that keep on pushing you know keep on pushing the they say the sky is, is the limit but i think you can actually go beyond go beyond that yeah thank you so much guys for watching uh, it is the genius kids show until next time bye bye the little things that make us giants in our industry we put in that extra mile of service so your car can go that extra mile of performance our aim is to make our stopovers feel like home giant petroleum limitless energy